guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Nick. And this is Cab Micro TV. Guys, we have a super exciting episode lined up for you today, completely dedicated to the electrical and electronic side of our business. And as you may or may not know, Cab Micro Solutions supports Altium software here in Canada exclusively. As well as supporting SolidWorks Electrical, SolidWorks PCV, and PCB Connector. And I feel like this episode is especially dear to Nick's heart as he is our product specialist for our electronic side of our business here That's at Cab Micro. Correct. Yes, that is So correct. if you're getting your wires crossed, call this guy. Oh, was that an electrical joke? It, I tried. All right. Well, you know what? It was good. It was all right. Was okay. All right. Okay. All right. So next, guys, we have Jamie LaRock. He is our applications engineer at CAD Micro, and he's going to be showing us a little tidbit on MCAD ECAD integration using SolidWorks and Altium. That's right. Let's take a peek. Roll the tape. Good day, everyone. This is Jamie from CAD Micro Solutions, and today I want to talk to you about the collaboration capabilities between Altium Designer and SolidWorks. In today's day and age, we have a lot of electronic products that are either heavily influenced from the mechanical realm or they're even started in that realm. This ECAD and MCAD collaboration isn't necessarily as seamless as we would desire it to be, but we want to show you how you can leverage Altium and SolidWorks to improve that design efficiency and really improve that collaboration. So one thing we want to look at first is why is collaboration important? This is going to give us less prototypes and less design respins. This is going to ensure that we can fit our board into the enclosure and we really have no component height clearances uh, issues within our enclosure. Secondly, we have less back and forth between the designers. It's very difficult to communicate through email to make these changes, so we're going to let the tool and the commenting sections within the tool um, kind of help us with that. On top of this, we have the accurate placement and fitment of the board within the enclosure. Once again, just ensuring that none of those electrical components are hitting the side of the enclosure, preventing it to fit nicely. Ultimately, the value to this is that we want to ensure that we're saving time and money in not doing prototype or design respins or communicating back and forth waiting on a design designer to make any changes. So what kind of collaboration capabilities do we have? If the product is starting within Altium Designer, it does support Step 3D and Parasolid bodies. This is going to be some 3D bodies that you have on your PCB that can be brought into SolidWorks and this can be checked for component clearance and also any issues if it's hitting the enclosure. Altium also supports IDX export, which you can export the baseline of your PCB with all the copper features and this can work very well with circuit works inside of SolidWorks. As we spoke about earlier as well, if the product is starting within the mechanical realm, your mechanical designer might say, here's the enclosure, we're going to export this face as a DXF, and we can actually import this DXF into Altium and create our board shape from those primitives to ensure that our board shape is going to fit inside the enclosure. Although we talked about all the ECAD and MCAD collaboration capabilities so far, what if that isn't enough for you? What if you're looking for that real-time collaboration between your designers to ensure that everything goes flawlessly? And this is why the SolidWorks PCB connector exists. This is going to act as a real-time bi-directional collaboration tool in which one designer can either push or pull changes from and give to the other designer and accept those changes within the software. For example, if the product itself is starting within the Altium realm, they can push this through the PCB connector and the mechanical designer can open it up in SolidWorks. If a component needs to be moved over maybe half an inch, we can push that back into the PCB connector. We can comment what changes need to be made and whenever that product is now open within Altium, we can review those changes and we can accept those changes to ensure that we have that seamless design collaboration between your ECAD and MCAD departments. Thank you, Jamie. And now we'd like to bring you some company news that we have. On February 23rd, we're going to be hosting a SolidWorks electrical and PCB event in Cambridge, hosted by our Southwestern Ontario product specialist, Jamie Flowers. If you'd like more information, you can simply write to us at sales at cabmicro.com or click on the link below to register. All right, guys, another news, very important date. Don't forget to write it in your calendars, March 15th, 11 to 11.30 a.m. Please join us for our introduction to SolidWorks PCB, live webinar hosted by Taha Remy and myself. Now guys, Webinar Wednesdays is reserved for our subscriptions clients, but you know what? I'm going to do you a favor. 
Oh, all access pass this time, guys. All access pass, you guys. Anyone that's interested in learning about SolidWorks Electrical or PCB is welcome to join. You're welcome. All right, so don't forget to click on the link below to register. If you have any questions, let me and Sarah know. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sarah. And I'm Nick. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon.